Yo guys, what is good? Welcome to the new video for you guys. So today's a little different video. It's gonna be a little QA for you guys. So it's a highly requested video on the channel right now. So we got Sama. Hell yeah. Sama Sama here. Um guys, we got a lot of fucking questions on the freaking uh, questionnaire I had on my Instagram. So, if you guys didn't know, I did a poll on my story and I did a freaking post, a post key too. So, if you guys aren't following me on the IG, just stand yo. So, I do a lot of like interaction with there, like all the Q and A's, everything I basically do, like, you know, for the YouTube, it's gonna be um, like linked to the Instagram. So, but I basically posted a picture like, you know, a couple days ago saying, yo, just fucking run this shit up with any juicy freaking Q and A or questions and I'll freaking answer them. So, that's what we're about to do right now. So, before we start guys, we got the new, new, the newest flavor that is just releasing of mode right here. So, I figured I'd just do a little taste test with Summer and I. So, you know, we get freaking wired before we get this Q&A started. So, brand new flavor, guys. Look at this. Cotton freaking candy grape ski is going to be releasing next new flavor of mode. So, I heard really good reviews. And I'm not going to lie, I've already tasted this. So, it's not going to be our first taste test. I've never tasted it. Yeah, Summer's never yeah, tasted it. So, it is super fucking good, guys, though. It is, I think it's the best flavor that they've released just because it's so different. And I don't think... I don't know any supplement company that's ever released like a cotton candy grape, which is super dope. So in mode, obviously. So I really hope they come out with a nitric and an energy flavor with this too. I'm really crossing my fingers because this shit is so fucking gas. So this, we're about to taste test, or Summer is about to taste test. Oh, brand new tube. Hell yeah. So we're about to taste test this, or Summer is for the first time. I'm about to try this for like the second time. So, but I'm about to go through this freaking tube ski because this is literally honestly one of my favorite flavors. So, just look your finger and put it in here. So, my rating with this before was like nine, like 9.6, I'd say. Because I would say it would be bumped up higher if it was like, if they did like, what I was, what I was telling them is, what I was thinking in my head is they should do like I, um, what I think they should do is um, they should do a series of cotton candy. So they should do like cotton candy grape, they should do cotton candy like maybe like apple or like cherry. Like this tastes exactly like, did you ever have like pixie sticks when you were little? Like yes. Like sugar sticks? This is insane. I know. That, that's out. probably their best pre-workout. Yeah. It literally tastes like pixie sticks. Yeah, it mm -hmm. tastes just like that. Okay. Yes. It's so you good. You would like binge eat that. Yeah. It's literally like... It's like sugar. It literally tastes like yeah. just like straight, it tastes like straight sugar. sugar you can eat. So it's so good. It That's is insane. So, yeah. I don't even. I don't really like love a lot of pre workouts, like especially dry skipping like that. That tastes insane. Uh. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, that, that I literally just so good. down it with a three D. But yeah, so guys, brand new flavor of cotton candy mode is gonna be dropping soon. So, hop on it guys, code Stan, you already freaking know! To get wired and just best pumps, everything. So, best formulated pre on the fucking market. So, yeah guys, I'm not sure exactly when this is releasing, but all I know is that this shit is gonna fucking sell out so fucking fast. So, you guys gotta be on the page right when it drops because this flavor is fucking gas! So, all right, that's that. Let's get in the fucking Q&A. So, guys, I don't even know, I'm gonna pick a bunch of questions because I literally got like hundreds of hundreds of questions. So there's our there's over like 200 comments on this shit. So, but like I mean I'm gonna answer some of the most top liked comments. Or yeah, so a lot of you guys. The first comment I see right here is Eric's comment. Shout out Eric. So his has over 50 likes. I don't know if that focused or not, but his comment has 50 likes. His comment says so. The first question I'm gonna answer, I'm just gonna get right into it. His one says, take one inch off your ding dong for plus one inch off your height, or take one inch off your height for plus one inch off your ding dong. So, so and I were talking about this. I'm not that tall, right? So, I would honestly sacrifice 
the couple and, and so no say what you said first so i said that one inch is like too small but like you gotta do two inches because yeah. you know what i mean like he's like five seven so like think about five seven to five nine versus five seven to five eight like that's not a big difference right you gotta do two inches yeah so, so two inches off your pp for plus two inches on your height or to be two inches shorter with a two inch bigger pp Exactly. I I would I would have to go with I would have to bump up to five nine with sacrificing the two inches off my my ding dong, because it's just like, you know what I mean? Like with shoes on, I'm like maybe five eight. So then I'm thinking I'm like five ten, plus two inches if I'm five nine with no shoes on plus five ten. So it's like, it's I think that's worth it. But you know that's that's sacrificing a that's sacrificing a little lot right there, boys. So. But yeah, what would you do if you were like in my, if you if were- If I was in your shoes, I'd do the same thing. Yeah. Maybe okay. if your pee, pee was really small, then you wouldn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, if, if your pee, pee is small enough, then you wouldn't do it. This guy, okay, so Seabass out, Seabass said, this is, this is funny, this is a lot of um, a like comment. He said, how much sushi do you consume every week? <laughs> so, <laughs> I always talk about sushi on my page, guys, as you don't know, I'm a fucking, Fanatic of sea of freaking just seafood in general and sushi. Sushi is my go-to because I don't really cheat a lot on my diet, and when I do, it's clean. So therefore, I just fuck with sushi, just like you know, simple rice, tuna, all that shit. So I, I'm not even gonna lie. Like on average, like sometimes I'll be pushing like two to three times a week, but others it'll be like once. So I feel like a good medium would just be like we'll we'll go grab sushi like maybe once a week. But as you guys know too, we're obsessed with froyo. So Froyo, Froyo and Sushi are like the two biggest ones we'll, we'll pretty much go ham on. So, but that, that was a good question. So, and then, okay, so the second, the third most liked question right now is update on the Natty status. So a lot of you guys were asking that question. So obviously you guys know I did a full natural show and I'm, I'm, I'm completely natural right now just to put that out there and to answer that right now. And I've been natural my whole life. So I've done three natural shows. I've done two NPC shows and an OCB show. The last recent show, obviously I got my natural pro card. So, you know, I had to get tested for that. Um, and obviously my test came back um, fully natural. So, but my right now natty status is natural. I'm going to get my blood works done soon here coming up. I've said that a lot on my channel, but I had to, I haven't really addressed this, but I had to wait obviously to get my bloods well i wanted to get my blood work done um tell like my hormones and all that shit is back in check because if i got my blood work done right now it would be like super inaccurate right so like hypothetically if i hopped on like a trt dose then you know my doctor would want like an accurate reading right so if i got my blood work done right now it'd be pretty inaccurate because my test levels would be pretty fucking low and because my show and obviously i was depleting for so long and literally like I was in a deficit for literally months and months. So ever since I moved down here, I've been pretty fucking shredded. And it was, that was like in what, June? Yeah. yeah. So ever since like June, I was like, okay, we're gonna come to Houston, moving down to Houston, which I moved down here. And I was like, I gotta be peeled moving down here. So I started my cut in like, I don't know, like May. And then, no, January, from March, April, May. Yeah, May. And then I cut for June, July, August, September, October, November, started my 10 week prep in November basic or like before that a little before that and then obviously I did a 10 week prep so you know that's like almost pushing half of a year of me being fucking dice so yeah that's I gonna... always think of the comment when that guy was like it is unhealthy to say shredded this long yeah and it's like yeah you he was oh, so unhealthy it's so unhealthy yeah so I pretty much crashed my hormones like there's as she can fucking vouch right now there's no sex drive in me still basically right now you know I'm trying to eat a bunch of fats carbs right now to naturally get my test back up so I want to get my blood work well when my hormones and levels are back in check. So like, let's say hypothetically, if I, you know, wanted to take bodybuilding further and like start a TRT, then, you know, it was, it would be an accurate level and, you know, reading. So, you know, that probably wouldn't be um, like down the road. I'm still young. I'm 21 right now. My birthday is coming up, but you know, like I said, it's probably, you know, that'll be something I won't be thinking about for a little bit, but right now I'm fully freaking natural. So Stanio is natty. So um, this one got a lot of likes. I think it's because I've been put in my story, but ground turkey, ground beef. Right now on a bulk, guys. So I'm obviously pretty much done with my reverse diet, so I'm pushing cows. So right now I've been really fucking with ground beef. 
So we've been getting ground beef. It's been super good. Um, I fuck with ground beef a lot. Gr I still eat ground turkey, chicken, ground turkey, ground beef. Um, but yeah, so there's there's a lot of like, I don't know how much I should really go on this because when I was like, guys, ask some juicy questions, like you guys did in fact. Yeah, you guys delivered and asked some juicy questions and I have no filter. So I'm just gonna fucking say, I'm not beating around bushes here. So um, let's say, so you asked nippies or, you asked buns or, or yeah, tits or ass, but you said the emojis. Right. So I'm an ass guy. So I hope I think I think majority of guys are ass guys. So, um, what supplements do you take to stay this lean? I honestly, right now, the supplements I'm on currently, I'm on Turk, DC. Those are all with Gorilla, um, the supplement company right here. And then I just really rock with pretty much all the supplements Gorilla um, provides. So smooth um, energy, I take Mode Nitric. Um, what else do I take? Oh, I take GDAs pretty much every meal for digestion and whenever I eat like a carb dense meal that helps a lot um, That shit is magic. Yeah, literally guys. It makes so, you not bloated at all. Yeah, if you guys are have trouble with like bloating at all with like eating like heavy meals or just meals and carbs in general Just pop a GDA. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go check that out It's literally just just type in like or if on this page just go to the GDA just order it too, bro It is fucking money and they have a lot there's a lot of caps a serving, so you'll get your money's worth with that, and obviously my code will save you two additional money, but I really been fucking with the GDA. Um, I take ARs from Gorilla. I take um, uh, Gorilla Dream at night, and on my prep, I took all the cutting supplements, so when I stayed, like, obviously he said, how did you stay that lean? Um, or what supplements did you take to maintain that leanness? They have, obviously, the AR, they have the fat burners. Um, they have the fat burner nine stim, the AM and PM. So I, all of the grill products basically that, like the fat loss stack I took, um, which definitely helped for sure on my prep. So, um, next question. Oh, this is funny. This guy said, will you ever make an OF <laughs> OnlyFans? So that is so funny that he said that because he said that a couple of days ago and I literally just made one guys. So, and it literally is in all my links, or in the link in my bio and all that shit, so it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna post like any like explicit shit on there, it's just gonna be, you know, pretty much like all gym content, so. But if you guys, if you guys wanna go check that out, then you know, whatever. So, um, this, is a, this is a high question. Someone said, any advice for a 16 year old who wants to start hitting the gym ski? So, that's a good question. Um, the biggest advice I would say is to not worry about like uh, getting shredded, starting a cut, like really start worrying about what's not so much in the gym is outside the gym, so like food, right? So that is gonna be your best friend. You gotta start eating food and a lot of it and healthy food. And this is what I tell everyone, right? Between, the difference between the foods you eat in your cut and your bulk, yeah, your cut and your bulk should be no different, right? I literally have these same foods, it's just way more of it, right? I just increase rice, you know, chicken, all that shit. So add an extra meal, you know, literally I'm eating the same foods year round, it's all clean, I'm very strict my, with my diet. That is another reason why I stay pretty lean year round, I would say even on my bulk, because my diet is pretty freaking clean. So just being able to have that good, clean diet year round, I would say, just a surplus of that, especially when you're young and getting into the gym because you got those newbie gains and your body's just gonna fuel that up and just literally push yourself. Always make sure you're increasing the weight. That's another thing I pretty much, um, I messed up on uh, when I first started lifting. Like, I caught myself doing the same weight over and over. Like, you know, I just go in there for like, let's say dumbbells, uh, if I'm doing like dumbbell chest press, right? I just like grab the 70s and just do it every time, right? Like really challenge yourself. If you do the, the 70s once, then you know next time it's chest day, try 75s for like one that one extra rep, right? And then mark it down. And that over time, you know, you're gonna see that up, and then you're gonna be able to do the 80s for one extra rep in the 90s, and then just that, just just literally marking that is gonna help you tremendously. So make sure you're upping your weight um, for sure. So um, what else is there? Um, there's so many. There's a lot of repeats too because a lot of people literally just ask those questions um that i just read so what made you start pursuing fitness that's a good question so honestly 
my, I don't know if you guys know this, or I, I haven't really talked about this, but my actually dad, he was a bodybuilder, right? He's He did two shows. He was, He's obviously fully natural, and he didn't, he was not one of those like big motherfuckers. He was just like, you know, did it for like, there was no men's physique when he competed. It was just one like classic, but um, uh, he did bodybuilding and my grandpa also did bodybuilding. So I was always into it. I played sports my whole life. So, you know, I played baseball. Um, so that was obviously a big part of my life, just like fitness in general. I loved like staying in shape. So just that aspect. So once I was done playing baseball, you know, I always needed like a hobby. So after like high school, college, I was like, you know, I want a hobby and I really, really, really loved going to the gym and I would call myself like just being in the gym for hours on end, just like doing everything. I just love doing it. So, you know, and then obviously I would just casually keep following like different bodybuilders and see them posting and it just really made me like fall in love with the whole fitness, bodybuilding, you know, atmosphere. So that's honestly like how I really started getting into it. Um, there was no one like people always say like um, a lot of people say like oh like I watched David Lade and you know I was you know watching this guy or X Y and Z on YouTube and that's what kickstarted it. But for me, it's like I honestly like I just said like I quit baseball and I really wanted just like another hobby and I knew I loved fitness and staying in shape and like I said, my dad and my grandpa were um, bodybuilders and I just really loved that and I really wanted to pursue that so that's really what made me start doing it. and I really took it seriously right around like two two and a half years ago so I haven't really been you know doing it for too too long I started social media another question this is goes in the second question I see right here this guy said when did you start social media um, and additionally I started social media like my Instagram I think like literally like t only like two two years ago so if you guys like want to pursue social media you know you guys can really do it if you just you know full fucking send it and just go all hard so I obviously want started a fitness Instagram and obviously back then um, even like two years ago it wasn't as popular as it is right now so I just like to do it not for like not to get a number on a screen or anything I just like to mark my progress show people what I was eating type shit you know posting my workouts you know being high energy all this shit so but yeah I started doing um, social media, all that stuff around like two years ago. Um, another big question we had here is where did uh, Yo come from? So Stan Yo, or how that, how did Stan Yo become established? So um, Stan Yo actually became established. It wasn't right when I started my Instagram. My first ever Instagram, guys, was called like Stan's Fitness, right? And I had that forever. So. It first became established, I remember, I was, I remember I would still do the, you know, like I do right now, I'd set up my phone and my stories and I would always be so hyped and I'd be like, yo, what the fuck is God? All that shit, so, you know, I would always literally do that every day, every day, and I would make pre-workout videos, as some of like the OGs remember, like literally, I'd set up my phone in my trunk and I'd fucking do crazy ass videos and like putting pre on my face and like getting hype as fuck before the gym. Like that was like my thing, like literally every time I would go in the gym, it would help me mentally too, like get me ready for the gym session to just get hype. Like if I was tired, I'd just be like, okay, like I set up my phone and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get fucking hype right now. You know, play a bop and just absolutely get wired with pre. So how yo came about is I'd always say yo in those videos and additionally, I would say, I always just say yo in general, like all my friends can vouch for this. Like if you're texting me or if you shoot me a call or if like you walk into my apartment, like, you know, I'm greeting you with that fucking hard ass yo, right? I'm like, yo! So, you know, and obviously I think I remember um, I was on live one time and I was talking about changing my username, right? And so, shout out Cam, I remember this so vividly. So. I wanted to change my username to like a nickname because in my head, if I wanted to really pursue social media, I didn't want, and this is a tip for you guys. If you want to like, you know, be able to um, really stand out, I advise you to, or this is just, I, this is just a, my opinion. I advise you not to just have your name, right? Because I just feel like that's just like very like bland, right? If, if, if you just have it, just your name, right? So if you guys have like a nickname or some sort of like, you go by something or whatever, just something like short, right? Then just have that be your name because there's only one of them, like one of you. Just for instance, like this is an example, just like as you guys know, a lot of you guys know Sush, 
right? There's just one of him, right? It's just Sush. Like think about if, if he had his name like Brandon, whatever, right? Instead of just Sush, like it's just so much more clingy, like it just rolls off the tongue. Like people remember that shit, right? So I was trying to think of something like that where, you know, I was known for something. So obviously, you know, you put two together. Someone was saying Stanyo because my name's Stan, Stan Lee, and I always say yo. And Stanyo rolled off the tongue super well and I really like that. So I was like, I fuck with that. So that's how everything it all came about. Stanyo, that's how it, it got invented. So and um, also I had I was down to two options though. So I'm Polish. That was another question too. Someone asked, what's your nationality? I'm Polish. And Stanya or Stanley in Polish is Stash. So I was between making my username, as a matter of fact, Stanyo or Stash. So I was either gonna go by Stanyo, and if I didn't like that, then I was either gonna change it, or I was either gonna go by Stash. So I always think to myself, like, if my, if my everything wasn't even Stanyo, if like my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok was all just like Stash. If, yeah, if that was I didn't like, even know that you were gonna do that. Yeah, so I think that would've been, I think that would've been pretty cool. But um, yeah. Okay, so can this was a high liked question. Someone said, "Would you rather take a cheat? Would you rather have to take a cheat or miss a meal in terms to progress?" Ooh, I don't know. I hate. I mean, I would probably. I think hate, a real cheat meal, not like a sushi, like a burger. Yeah. Would you rather like a burger and fries from like McDonald's? Yeah, like guys. In and out. That's that's true. I'm crazy, as she knows, with that shit. Like. I literally am, I, I do not cheat on my diet. Like, it's like, I just feel so guilty, like eating like food, like the second, in my head it's like the second I have, let's say I have like fries or something like greasy, something like that, like, yeah, it tastes good on your tongue for those couple seconds, but the second it goes down your throat, I'm like, fucking Christ. Like, I gotta throw this shit up. You know what I mean? Cause it's just like, that guilt is so strong <laughs> and so I hate it. You know what I mean? Like, that's so bad. So yeah, bad. so honestly, it's probably like, I guess, miss a meal because I just hate it, so. Um, Cam always says, though, that like taking an actual cheat meal, Cam, our friend, tells us that like once a week, he like goes out and has a burger yeah. and like fries. It's good to do that. Yeah, but I mean, obviously. I don't know what the science is behind that, though. He says like speeds up your metabolism. Yeah. Um. So, favorite music to listen to the gym. So, honestly, I listen to pretty much everything it depends on it depends on what i'm hitting honestly and the mood like i feel like the vibe i'm feeling i feel like because sometimes like you know i'll listen to like i i love a lot of soundcloud remixes like baby ziz show up baby ziz if he's watching this his shit's gas like the heart style remix that just will get me going in the zone um edm i like um the only thing i don't listen to in the gym is probably country just because i just don't think i could li uh, work out to country but um, other than that, it's pretty like, you know, set in stone. Like if I'm having like a chill ass leg workout, sometimes I'll literally just turn on like chill vibes and just like, you know, get low def on my fucking squats and just, you know, whatever. So, but um, yeah. So this guy said, how many, Jacob said, how many calories do you eat per day? So right now I would say I'm pushing right around like, 3,000 calories right around there. I'm not tracking right now just because I've tracked like forever and I know exactly what I mean. I know exactly like the measurements I have and everything. So I would say right now I'm having roughly right around like 3,000. So I'm probably gonna up that pretty soon. Probably shoot to around like 3,200 um, and then go from there. So, but yeah, I would say, I'd say right around like uh, 3,000. So what camera do I have? I have a, a7, a Sony a7 III. Um, someone said, why the fuck, or no, how the fuck do you stay so tan? <laughs> so, um, obviously guys, I would not recommend this, but obviously, you know, this is, this is how I go about this. Obviously I have a, I have a brunch membership, which is only 20 a month because I go, I hit up the sauna for that. And also they have tanning beds. So I just rock the tanning beds like two to three times a week, maybe three at most, probably like twice a week. But people are like, oh, dude, like that's so bad for your skin. I'm like, bro, but guess what? It's like just laying in the sun for hours is bad for your skin. And people do that all the time. You know what I mean? I feel like it's just like, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's like more natural. And obviously, we're getting natural sunlight right now. But, you know, rock and tanning beds. 
and um, I shout out Adam, but my buddy gave me um, tanning lotion before I go to the sauna, and that's helped to just like maintain your tan. So if you guys tan, um, get some like tanning lotion because it'll make your tan just like stay longer and look more like bronze. So yeah, so that's that's pretty good. Oh, this is a good question. So someone said. Who inspired you the most and influenced you to start your fitness journey? So, like I said, guys, a little before, there was not someone like specifically that like kickstarted, like, oh, I watched David Late. Well, the first person, if I had to say I watched, I watched two people on YouTube first. I watched Dylan McKenna. I, I actually knew, I didn't know, I found out about David Late through Dylan McKenna. So I actually watched Dylan McKenna before I even knew who David Laid was. So I like D Dylan McKenna because in my head, guys, I'm only short, like shout out all the short kings, but I always would watch people and look at people who are around my height. So Dylan McKenna is not that tall, I believe. I've never seen him in person, but just um, like what I've heard, I think he's around like my height, like five seven, five eight. So I would only watch like bodybuilders and um, people like around my height just so I can like base and just see what they're doing because I would not like David Lee's way taller and it's like if I was gonna watch him I'd be like okay that works for him and his body type just I was thinking logical um, so I like wouldn't really watch him I'd watch Dylan McKenna because he was more my body type so I actually found I started watching him first and I also started watching um, Just Merck so he those two people were like the two people that I started Oh no, bro, you're good. Those are the two people um, who I started uh, watching and really like kickstarted like my YouTube fitness like journey of watching like all the, you know, I would say those are like the two, just to answer that question. Um, but another another uh, person too was just obviously myself and my dad too because like I said, my dad was a bodybuilder and I always thought it was like sick as fuck like looking at his old pictures and I was like, wow, like he has sick ass genetics and it's like, obviously I has I have his genetics and I'm blessed to have his genetics. So it's like, I can maybe do something with this. And my grandpa too, cause there's pictures of my grandpa that were bodybuilding too. So I'm like, wow, like they both had good genetics. And my mom is a fitness coach and she's a dietitian. So she would always help me, you know, like a while ago with like meal prepping, diet, all that shit. So, you know, put two together and it would just, you know, I, I love doing it. So those, honestly, my dad, my grandpa, and then I would say if I have to answer the question with like just people relevant in the industry, probably Dylan McKenna and then Just Merck. So, um, oh yeah, and then those were those were a couple of the questions I wanted to nail on my um, on my Instagram because of all the comments, and then we had a bunch of comments on my Instagram poll too. So here's a bunch on my Instagram poll. Favorite place to visit in the world? So I love love traveling and I want to travel way more in my 20s um, summer and I so summer actually it's so exciting because summer luckily she get her mom is a flight attendant and she actually to, if you guys didn't know this, she actually does not live here yeah right? everyone thinks I yeah live everyone here. thinks she's lives here and everyone thinks that I live with her so obviously I live with Eric and Eric and I live in Houston so summer goes to school in, in Baltimore. Baltimore, right? Yeah, her family's so far away. her family's from New Jersey, but um so she her mom's a flight attendant, so she gets she gets free flights, which is super convenient. So she'll fly here um obviously whenever she wants, which is super nice. Um but my favorite place like obviously I've been my favorite place I've ever visited, hands down, just to answer this question right now, was definitely Italy. Um when I was in um high school I went to Europe. I went to like France, Italy you know, Rome, all the, like I pretty much went all over Europe, so that was super sick. But um, I really want to start traveling way more, you know. I see a bunch of people in Dubai, that would be sick. But um, a really cool destination I want to go to, I want to hit up that jungle gym in, um, where is Tulum. that? Tulum. I want to go there so yes. bad. I want to go there, like, that would be sick if I was able to go there this year and make like a YouTube video at the jungle gym. That would be fucking sick. Yeah, that would be so sick. I don't know if you guys know this, but Summer always says I look like a freaking monkey. I think so. Literally comment right yeah. now if he looks like a monkey. Everyone I say that to thinks that. And he makes, we should like insert a picture. Yeah. If you can do that. He makes the 
funniest monkey faces. But yeah, I said that he should go to the jungle gym because that's where he belongs. Yeah, so I think that would be cool going to the jungle gym in Tulum because, and obviously Tulum would be a cool place to go to. Yo guys, all right, so literally that clip just freaking cut off as you guys saw. We're back at the crib right now. So we're probably gonna do a part two because I literally was just looking over that. And this video is gonna be like close to 30 minutes because I like to talk ski. So we're gonna do a part two, but literally one of the last questions that light was like was, uh, when did you get your puppy? So here's my puppy. And what kind of dog is it? This is my puppy Malibu. Mally, we call her Mally. Little monkey. Dog. She um she's a lab mixed with a Doberman. And she her birthday is the first day of summer, right? So we got I got her what like five months ago? Yeah. I'm gonna say in September. Or yeah, whatever that was. So I got her in like first 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 couple days of September. So but we were back at the crib guys. So we are literally about to come and make some brick. We're making food right now. So, but I literally just wanted to do this quick Q&A for you guys because I know you guys were, I just want to put some questions out there just so you guys get to know me a little bit more personally. So, but um, yeah guys, so I mean, honestly, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. These eggs are about a fucking burn ski. We got some egg whites, rice, and fucking ground turkey whipping up right now. Oh, hell yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. But guys, this is honestly going to be the end of the video because... We fucking were talking forever, and I'm gonna make a part two about this, probably more with Summer too, because there were some literally hundreds of questions too with Summer and like our relationship. So we might do a like a juicy couples Q and A. So it's kind of just broad Q and A. Um, but as you guys saw, answered a lot of those questions. So like I said, new grill product is gonna be launching. I talked about in the beginning of the video. Young Lake Code Stanio Regimen Fucking Stanio Boulevard. These are the Gatsby's, my fucking favorite. Coach in your boy. So, but we're gonna be we're gonna be doing two videos a week, guys. And I'm gonna I want to be doing a lot more like out of the gym type content videos too. So literally, we were talking about we made these dope ass fucking like anabolic pizzas. I want to do that. Like put out the recipe, chef that shit up. Cause you guys know I like to cook. But that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. I'll go see you next video. I think we might be doing like. As you guys knew, so I was talking about this. I used to play baseball, so we might be doing like a home run derby upcoming too. We might be going to like a field doing like a cool little like baseball fucking video. So that would be dope. But this is the end of the video, guys. Fucking your life, guys. Peace out. Let's fucking go.